We're eating at Jungle Skipper Canteen. Let's eat. <laughs> Ignore me. The heat, the heat is. The sun, heat gets yeah. It's 83 degrees a in February, which I'm enjoying because I'm from New York. Yeah. Uh, but the Jungle Skipper Canteen is themed after the Jungle Skipper or the world jungle, famous yes. Jungle Cruise, which we just got to be like little honorary guest skippers. Yes, because of what we they made. like their outfit and they ran up and we got to skip the line. So it's a 90 minute wait. <laughs> thank that you. Was really awesome. And thank you, Lake Buena visitors, for the shirt. Uh, we're big fans of their live streams and all of their merchandise that actually helped us get on the Jungle Cruise. Great Jungle Cruise. We had an awesome skipper named George, but now we're going to get to be served by skippers at the Jungle Skipper Canteen. Uh, so they actually have three different rooms in there. Uh, one is the mess hall, which isn't actually that messy. That's one of the jokes I have there online. Uh, the other is the jungle room, and then they have a hidden room behind a bookshelf. I don't think we're going to be seeing that one, uh, but they have a bunch of different assorted items and foods that I'm really excited to try out, and you're served by skippers. So they'll have all of those cool Jungle Cruise jokes as you're being served. Yeah, and the cuisine is like it's Asian, African, yeah. and South American. All the different place that you, places you experience as you move through the Jungle Cruise ride. We just got off Jungle Cruise. Again, great skipper, great ride, but now we get to finally eat here. Our first visit here back in 2017 as a couple, we had reservations here and missed them. We've multiple times, we've made reservations is, here. Yeah, it's a long time coming. Yeah. I think it's just like the perfect day. We yes. just got off the ride and yeah. we're ready. We're pumped. I'm hungry, are you? I am. All right, let's head inside. All right, so we got the Dole Whip Culotta, right? Adventureland Culotta. Oh, Adventureland Culotta. So it's Culotta. Dole Whip and coconut cream and passion fruit. I think we walked right past the mess hall. We're actually in the jungle room. Did you notice the tiki birds? Yes, tiki little parrot birds right there on this the lampshades. This is really delicious. A jungle cruise boat. Oh, that's no. very good. Yes. This is beautiful and refreshing. One out of ten. Nine. I'm also a huge Dole Whip fan. Yeah, so. Dole Whip is, I mean, it's a signature Magic Kingdom snack. So it's so a refreshing. Pineapple with it. Yeah. We've been in the hot sun all day. I just tried this. I, I agree. I think it's a 9 2. It's, a, it's not alcoholic, just so you guys know. And we got this special cheese bread. It's a Brazilian I, cheese bread. Oh, wow. And it has all these little, little dips and sauce with it. So there, so there was like poblano peppers and cream cheese in the sauce. And then there's egg, milk, flour, and something else. <laughs> Parmesan cheese. We were going to go with the falafel as our appetizer, but this was a special and, you know, I can't turn on bread and cheese. Go with an eight. Ooh. All right, so Sam got the taste like chicken. It definitely looks like chicken. Because it is. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Got some rice, there's like a crispy glaze on it, some mixed vegetables. Now, do you pick it up with your hand or you cut it with a knife? Yeah. Looks like it's got some bones. Yeah, it's like you just, ooh, maybe it doesn't have bones. Very crispy. <laughs> so it's a sweet chili glaze on it. It's very hot. Yeah, maybe you should use the knife. <laughs> There you go. It's definitely crispy. It is. It's like a very bread heavy chicken. Yes. We could come back if it's, you don't get a lot of chicken. Uh -huh. I love good. the glaze. It's really good. One out of ten. Seven. I think the, the chicken is a little too crispy, like the crisp is a little too much. But the chicken is juicy. Whatever the glaze is, it's amazing. 
And they were here with my sister Christy, and she got that something they highly recommended. The um, Panda noodles or Thai noodles. I got it, yes, and I got it with chicken because they had several options though. They had, um, you could get steak, shrimp, try to go with something safe. There's no other with chicken. Oh, you can also get it with tofu. Oh, and tofu. Oh. It actually, originally, it, it doesn't have meat in it, so if you are vegetarian. It, oh, vegetarian, I'm yes. vegan. Awesome. Seasonal vegetables and rice noodles tossed in a spicy soy chili garlic sauce. This is delicious. I, I love the sauce. It's, like I said, it was it's sweet. Um, perfect combination of vegetables, crunch, whole nine yards. <laughs> I mean, I really give this about a seven. That was good. Yeah. And then we got the sustainable fish. So I think this is actually a seasonal dish. I think they said yours was bass, if I'm correct, right? Yeah, with some habanero sauce. Ooh, it sounds really good. It, it definitely the presentation is there. For yours. I really like the way that they played. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it, I like the colors. Kind of fell apart. Yeah. <laughs> the top was very crispy. Although well, the beans uh, in, or in that center part look really good. Very tasty. A little spice with the habanero sauce. I'll give it um, a seven out of ten. Ooh, seven is good. All right, so I got the pork. It's a hearty har char soup pork. Mm. Thank you. Served with seasonal uh, vegetables and jasmine rice. That looks good. It does look good. I'm just trying to cut the seasonal vegetables and not have a little bit of a trouble here, but I got it. Good flavor. Char on the outside. Is it dry at all, the pork? No, it's juicy. I am going to go with a 7 2. A straight 7 all around. <laughs> Lucky 7s. <seven. laughs> What a Jay to try my chicken, because he's a fried chicken guy. I am a fried chicken guy. It is, it's very good. I love those little, too crispy, but I love the chili glaze. We got a little bit of everything in there. I wish I had a little more of that chili glaze. Do you like mine better? Yeah, mine too. I agree with your seven. Very good, but you're right, very crispy. Different type of flavor profile. Good though. I agree with your seven. Almost an eight. Like All right, so eight. Sam, for dessert, you got the congaloosh. Congaloosh. So it's an African-inspired chocolate cake. Caramelized bananas, cashew caramel ice cream, and coffee dust. Oh, that sounds so good. The coffee like dust really is enjoy. what drew yeah. me to this. And I like that it's not a super huge portion either because I'm pretty full from that chicken. Yeah, I feel like the uh, golden drink is pretty filling. Yeah, the drink is filling. We probably could have shared one. That is like a dessert, that drink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One at a time. It's like fudgy. The cake is like fudgy. Mm. Eight. Oh. Alright, so this is the pineapple bar. What's in this? It's coconut this bar one. with pineapple basil compote and vanilla ice cream. It's a vanilla chiffon cake. The ice cream is very flaky. Wow. Lime white chocolate ganache. It's a very interesting flavor. That's so good. More than eight. That's really Ooh. good. Alright, Christy, so this is the third dessert we got for the table. We're actually splitting all these up. Yeah, and they only have three desserts, so this is all their desserts. So the presentation is beautiful. What's this called, Sam? It's Panettone's Congo Lime Delight. Lime panna cotta served with mango lime sorbet and fresh fruit. I think that's going to be refreshing. Yeah, it, it almost resembles cereal, but when you dig into it, it has, it's like uh, sherbet or something. Well, mm. oh, the lime, I would imagine, is a sherbet. Yeah. Um... For me, texture is a little off. I was expecting more of like sherbet or I, you know, some type of ice cream, but um, not for me. I'm sure somebody that enjoys fruit would like this, so I, <laughs> I probably give this a four. Really? Yeah. I think, that, I think that's just not your. It's just preference. not my thing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it out. To try to yeah. It. Don't listen to me. All right, so I'm gonna try the dessert that Christy tried out because I don't trust her. <laughs> I get what you're saying though. It kind of looks like cereal. With. Uh, I mean, I, 
not everyone likes panna cotta. I think. That's true. It is like a different kind of texture. Oh yeah. That's weird. It is. Not bad, but weird. It's not my thing. I'm gonna go for a five. I wouldn't go for a four. Four is like it's not good. It's good. It's just not my thing. So I go with a five. But Remember yeah. the rose from Festival of the Arts that you didn't like? That had panna cotta in it. I just think you were not a panna cotta. I'm, I'm probably not. All right. So what does everyone think? You know, we'll start with Sam. I can't say everyone. We all start talking. <laughs> Sam, what do you think of Jungle Tea? I think it's my new favorite restaurant. It's I definitely up there for me. This and Liberty Tree Tavern are like fighting it out. I, I think Liberty Tree Tavern might win for me only because they have uh, the sticky coffee. Cake. But, that is a very good dessert, but I yeah. feel like this is like the epitome of like a perfect Magic Kingdom restaurant. Yeah. The, the Adventureland Colada. Yes. Like the Jungle Cruise theming. We were in the Jungle Room, which was really the cool. The Tiki Birds. Like this was, it felt it was like the perfect place to have lunch at Magic Kingdom. The Jungle Skippers really add to the experience too, right? With like the little quips. Uh, Christy, what was your favorite thing you Definitely my entree, the Thai noodles. That was up there. I tried each of their dishes. I think yours might have been my favorite yeah, too. Yes. So I think we all definitely recommend the Thai noodles. Uh, the Congolouche. Yes, the Congolouche, as well as your fish. Yeah. I mean, what do you think of, what do you think of your fish as well as the desserts? It was great. I love the atmosphere, And you actually liked the dish she didn't like, the yeah. dessert. <laughs> so, depends on your flavor profile. Well, I, mean, I think it just wasn't my flavor like profile, but it definitely had a fruity texture to it. So if you're into like fruity, uh, um, jelly, gelatin, yes, yeah, gelatin okay. based desserts, very good. I think my favorite was the coconut bar, but you really liked I really love the congolese. Yeah, the chocolate cake was good, the banana yeah. was really good. I would actually probably knock up all of our entrees too to an eight. I thought they were all delicious. Yes. Um, we all had a great time, great themed restaurant, awesome eating with Jungle Skippers and being honorary Jungle Cruise Skippers and riding the Jungle Cruise before our meal. If you enjoyed the content, please like, subscribe, like it. It really help our channel grow. It pushes this video out there into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video. Subscribing also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time the videos come out. Which is what I'm saying? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. Count. See you next time. That's all, folks. Uh, Hi, guys. <laughs> Jungle Skipper. Yeah, it's like the, you're right, Sam. It's like the perfect Magic Kingdom restaurant. I like it by the Liberty Tree. So. I, not, I think we're going to fight it out one day. Right, Liberty like Tree and Jungle Skipper. California Grill rivalry that we had. Yes.